Good morning, everybody. I'm Deanna Sess. That is 825 right now. Here's what's happening. We begin with a school closure in the Grants McKinley School District. San Rafael Elementary School in San Rafael will be closed today due to a water problem. Employees, you are asked to report to work as normal. A federal investigation is underway in a northeast Albuquerque home right now where hazardous chemicals and germ incubators were found. Investigators came to this house in the 8,000 block of Spain Northeast to question the people inside about a shooting on Tuesday night. Well, when they got inside, they found hazardous chemicals and three incubators used to grow germs. A special unit from the National Guard is still trying to determine just what those chemicals are. The couple in the house was arrested in connection with that shooting on Tuesday night. Police say that was over a $20 drug debt. According to a News 13 source, anarchist literature was also found at that home. The New Mexico Secretary of State's office says it's working to ease computer system delays that have disrupted early voting in some locations. Election officials in Doña Ana, San Juan, and Santa Fe counties say early voting was delayed at some locations Tuesday evening because the poll workers were not able to access the statewide voter registration system. Bernalillo County has a new nepotism policy in place. It bans all county workers, including elected officials, from hiring or supervising family members. It all stems from the John and Jamie Dantas scandal. Jamie Dantas was hired at the County Drug Rehab Center, which was under his father John's command at the time. Jamie Dantas was unqualified and had a long criminal history before and after his hiring. Jamie quit. His father retired. Right now, let's go ahead and take a look at your weather. Here's me Meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Cold start this uh, Thursday morning. We're starting off in the single digits up in Alamosa. 23 in Taos, 35 in the Duke City right now, and even in the low to mid 30s across the southeast this morning. But going into the afternoon, some changes move in. High pressure is going to mean a southerly wind for a change, and that's going to bring in some warmer air. So it won't be as chilly as it has been. Going into the weekend, breezy conditions as winds will be kicking back up again, but we'll stay mainly dry, so we're not going to have to worry about rain or snow as we head into your Halloween weekend and temperatures will be a little bit better too. 64 today, 70 on Friday, 72 on Saturday, and then the temperatures come down a little bit, but still pretty mild for this time of the year. Topping out in the mid 60s and 70s with lows above freezing in the low to mid 40s. Thanks a lot, Kristen, and thanks for joining us. For continuous news and weather updates, log on to krqe.com. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning at 5 and 6 a.m. Have a great day, everybody.